Hey, what's up guys? Benny here and welcome to my top 10 best class setups and loadouts in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And as you probably know, it takes a long time to rank up your guns in this game. So I don't want you wasting any of your own time ranking up the wrong guns when I figured out what some of the best weapons and setups are in the game so far. And I've spent a lot of time ranking all of these up to max rank so I can figure out the best setups so that I can get the most amount of kills, the most wins, and the highest gun streaks possible which will hopefully help you guys out as well and if you are new to this channel do make sure to hit that subscribe button as 70 percent of you watching are not subscribed and you'll get better at call of duty i promise but one thing i want to point out is you'll notice with how i've laid out my guns is there are two variations there's a perk variation which is if i'm using the perk greed wild card and then there's a gun variation which is if i'm using the gunfighter wild card so you can see the best setup for these five weapons for both five attachments and eight attachments uh so you know you know exactly what you should be using i'm not going to go into too much detail of why i've chosen each of the individual attachments from like recoil percentages and stuff i've spent a lot of time optimizing these setups setups uh so hopefully i can show you them all and then you can go ahead and use them and let me know what you think down in the comments below but the ak-74u has been heavily slept on because the mp5 i think kind of came along and took all the kind of glory when the ak-74u was so good in the beta but the build that i found that works best is having the sound suppressor which is just going to keep you off radar you then want to have the barrel the 9.3 vdv reinforced barrel is great and it's a real good this uh, this particular barrel is great across most most weapons uh, that increases your effective damage range and your bullet velocity because it's going to make sure that you're getting that maximum damage output the highest range possible so your time to kill is as fast as possible because you're going to be getting that four to five bullet kill uh, at the longest range possible because as you can see the ak-74u does 38 damage per bullet so it's going to be like a four to five kill uh, bullet kill as players in cold war have 150 hp which is something to keep in mind uh, and bullet velocity is just going to make your gun feel better because uh it's like hitting them quicker so it's kind of more like as close to hit scan as possible then on the under barrel i use the spetnaz speed grip uh which i find really good sprinting move speed and also horizontal recoil control most weapons in cold war have horizontal recoil so you want to reduce that down as much as you possibly can and the cons are not too bad um in comparison to the how the weapon operates i then use the 40 round speed mag because i'm running behind spawns traditionally i'm playing uh in larger great games against like 12 other players so being able to reload quickly uh helps a ton i then use the grew elastic wrap now the reason i use this is fast rain down sight time also flinch resistance so it can help you make sure that you're landing your shots in a 50 50 gunfight and also aim while going prone do not underestimate drop shotting if you drop shot in previous call of duties this attachment allows you to continue doing that and the shooting move speed and sprint to fire time yes it's a pain but the benefits and that how that's going to help you win a lot of gunfights is insane uh, and it balances out with the faster aim down sight speed so you're going to get the kind of similar level of a time to kill uh secondary you can kind of choose you can use a shotgun if you want to the hoyer is incredible i personally run a launcher so i can shoot down streaks and like kind of help my team out overall stim shot is a key key uh uh, tactical to use it really helps you rack up a lot of kills i then use a semtex i didn't use a frag grenade and then trophy system and then with the perk setup i use this for all my classes i use flat jacket and tap mask eliminates explosives and stun grenades which are ridiculous in this game by the way then perk two i use gearhead so i can get my trophy systems quicker and then scavenger so i don't run out of ammo and perk three ghost stay off the radar and then ninja because audio is so powerful in this game being able to run around quiet um it's gonna help you a lot uh, and then that is that particular setup then the gunfighter setup uh the perks i use a flak jacket scavenger ninja same kind of setup stim shot semtex trophy system uh but i then use the microfex led which uh, for me is the best optic for a small vision and that's kind of what i like um just try around different ones the quick dot reflex uh the quick dot leds kind of gives you a good peripheral vision but i personally prefer the micro flex let me know what you use down in the comments then the, the main setup is the same i use the sound suppressor i use the vdv reinforced barrel i use the steady aim laser for a higher better hit fire accuracy 
under barrels so spec now is grip magazine 40 round speed mag the handles that grew elastic wrap again and then the stock i use the kgb skeletal stock for faster sprint to fire time and that aim walking movement speed this is going to really help out like minus 30 percent hip fire actually i don't really fire from the hip too much with the ak-74u so that's not too big of an issue but that's my ak-74u setups we'll then move on to a gun that did just get nerfed however it is still very very good with the right build so the Fafar or the Famas, uh, I use on the Optic Microfex LED again. I use then use the SOCOM Eliminator. Now, the reason I use this is because the nerf to the Famas was actually a increase in its recoil. So you want to reduce that as much as possible. So 17% vertical recoil control is huge. So you can use that SOCOM Eliminator right there. Then the barrel, I use a reinforced heavy. Now, as I said, this is one of the greatest barrels across most weapons. Effective damage range and bullet velocity increase. 50.8 meters at 900 meters a second. Very, very good. It's going to give you a good hit detection. You're going to mainly use the FAMAS at kind of short to medium range for an assault rifle, but it's still going to be effective at those further distances. 27 damage, 910 rounds per minute effectively. Uh, gives you a very, very fast time to kill. Uh, then if we drop down, I use on assault rifles, I use the mounted flashlight. Now this, I feel, is a very underrated an attachment because in maps like cartel where there's a lot of foliage uh if you've got this and you're just kind of like aiming from the hip you can like effectively mark opponents as they're in the map so you can then snap onto them do not underestimate this attachment so many people are sleeping on it do not it gives them a nice little marker it reminds me of, like the marksman uh perk from modern warfare 3 huge then on the underbow field agent grip now the reason i use this once again very important with the famas recoil control shooting move speed don't care about it recoil is more important when you're using this gun you want it to be as much for laser as possible take full advantage of the gun's fire rate the magazine use the 34 round you can use a 34 round speed mag as well um if you want to if you're happy to sacrifice that aim down sight speed uh because yeah you do burn through ammo quite quickly with this because of the fire rate then the handle i use the serpent ramp wrap to counter the aim down sight speed for that um you can go for the airborne elastic wrap once again but i quite like um i kind of play quite aggressively so i'm kind of getting caught sprinting out a lot so either one of those two work then the stock you can use the raider stock um right there best one hip fire accuracy don't care when using an assault rifle it's just going to give you sprint to fire time and aim walking movement speed really help when like so when you approach a corner something i do a lot is i will aim down sight and then walk around the corner and then be ready to fire as soon as i head around that's going to really help you to do that now the next bit uh, i want to go on to is so same setup as before flat jacket scavenger ninja for the gunfighter stuff uh, then I want to go on to my perk variation for this. Now, for this, use the SOCOM Eliminator, the reinforced heavy barrel. I then use the field agent grip, the 34 round speed mag. And then, to be honest, I, I'd probably go for the airborne elastic wrap now. Uh, it's I just, I, I've been getting back into the habit of drop shotting a lot. Um, and the negatives kind of outweigh it because you get an extra 5% aim down sight speed, which kind of balances off with the sprint to fire speed um, and kind of evens up in your kind of total time to kill. So you've got to think about those two stats together is what like where it goes up and where it goes down. It's, it's, it's hard to explain. I'll do a bit more in-depth video on that very soon um but then the setup i've also been using the jammer a lot more but once again tactical stim shots semtex field upgrades tr uh, the three that i'd recommend using are field mics trophy systems and jammer i think they're the strongest ones the jammer is really useful in small maps like crossroads strike really like people just don't destroy them which kind of surprises me then uh for the perks flat jacket tap mask scavenger gearhead ninja and ghost uh now i want to move on to what i still think all right everyone kind of moved over to the orc but for me, the M16 is a beast of a weapon and also I think will be very, very good in Warzone. I've been having a great time with it um, in Dirty Bomb. But the optic I use, uh, once again, I kind of, I've been using Millstop with this, uh, but also the three, the actual arms three times is amazing and that will probably be what i use in warzone very very much like the vlk scope uh but in multiplayer i go ahead and use the mill stop reflex then the muzzle i've got the silencer on it you can go for the socom eliminator once again if you don't mind being like kind of popping up on radar uh then on the barrel i use the 15.9 strike team now the reason i do that is increase in damage and an increase in fire rate it means i'm going to be getting more one hit kills uh with my bursts because yes the effective damage range drops with this but i can fire more rounds quicker and i can also get a higher chance of having that kind of three shot burst kill uh which really helps rapid fire 
if if otherwise go for the rapid fire but 15.9 strike team once you go kind of past the effective damage range you can still get that one burst because of this this attachment then the body once again mounted flashlight such a crucial attachment then underbout field agent foregrip um it's kind of just what i go for a lot just that recoil control so that burst is kind of being as centered as possible magazine the stagnag 54 round just so i can spray it like crazy and take full advantage of that thousand rounds per minute fire rate handle i just use speed tape uh, with the m16 and then the stock i use that raider pad just to sprint the fire team and aim walking movement speed main the main thing as well for me is that sprint a fire time is just going to help you when you get caught out by a player but that aim walking movement speed aim down sight walk around a corner helps so much in like kind of preempting a situation especially when you're attacking an objective uh, and then it's the same setup overall um actually it's not because i've got tap masks i prefer having black jacket on personally hate dying to explosives now my perk variation for the m16 uh i try and use an optic a lot of the time because i do think it really helps uh, i remove the muzzle i use the 15.9 strike team barrel i've then got that field agent foregrip and then i've got the speed tape uh, and then the raider pad i just find that a really good m16 build we're still going to get those one shot kills but with the benefit of getting six perks uh which are the same six perks every single time um and we'll just switch that to a semtex but really really good m16 build don't sleep on the m16 now the xm4 i think a lot of people kind of slept on it a little bit because it wasn't as powerful as some of the other weapons on there like if we go and have a look at the base stats here 32 damage a bullet that means you're going to be getting a five bullet kill uh on opponents which with a gun that is super accurate and i i'm, I'm gonna go through this class actually because i love the xm4 and i think uh it was a commando back in black ops and i think this is really going to compete in warzone especially but it's really good in multiplayer and cold war as well uh microflex led once again there's loads of scopes and optics that you can use it's mainly personal preference muzzle i use the socom eliminator on there reason i'm using that once again vertical recoil just making sure that it's as much of a laser as possible so i'm landing the shots now also reason i do that is because on this particular weapon i use the 13.5 task force barrel which is a seven percent increase in damage uh 50 effective damage range and 50 percent bullet velocity this is insane yes you get less ammo but realistically i'm running scavenger don't need to worry about that but the vertical the recoil control you have to counter which is why the socom eliminator is a great pairing with this but that is what increases this damage to 32 damage a bullet right where if it's without it it's 30 all right so that is a key thing because you want to be having that extra bit of damage just to make sure you're getting as the highest uh the, the lowest bullets to kill an opponent as possible really does help especially at a distance now then i use the mounted flashlight once again under barrel the field agent grip you'll notice it's familiar pattern with most of the assault rifles then i use the salvo 50 round fast mag uh then the handle the airborne elastic wrap and then the stock the raider pad honestly an insane insane setup and once again let's just let's just set this up properly um then a flat so that's the kind of setup for the xm4 if you're using gunfighter then this is my five um attachment xm4 before we get onto what i think is probably the best gun in the game right now don't use an optic on this one i use the socom eliminator with that task force barrel field agent grip 50 round fast mag and then the airborne elastic grip it's really nice really easy to control and just once again you can get go ahead and use these which is really I, I think in 6v6 having six perks is far better than eight attachments in my personal opinion i think you just kind of gain more because of having flat jacket and tap mask really stop counters the, the nade and stun spam in the game so um you'll probably have a higher kd using perk greed over gunfighter then the ak-47 oh my god this is the best assault rifle in the game like it is hands down incredible nothing like the modern warfare ak optic microflex led again kgb eliminator which is the socom um uh attachment once again muzzle flash concealment and vertical recoil control because it does have a bit of kick the ak so you want to center it as much as possible and have the recoil as easy to control as possible vd the the one downside with the ak is its bullet velocity is quite low um so having the vdv reinforced barrel is going to increase that bullet velocity so it travels at 700 meters a second but also that effective damage range so you're going to be getting that uh like four to five shot kill because it does 38 damage a bullet the ak which and it actually has the fastest time to kill up close than any of the other assault rifles um so do not sleep on the ak at all mounted flashlight 
Once again, do not sleep on this. It is insane. It is an amazing attachment and like gets me so many kills on levels like Cartel. Uh, just similar to how Marksman used to in Modern Warfare 3. Spetnaz grip, once again, countering the recoil. Really, really important. Then I just use the base 40 round mag. I don't really want a neg the negatives from having like the 40 round speed mag because um, I still want it to be a little bit snappy. And the reload without it is still pretty damn fast. Uh, just with the base 40. Then the handle, use that Guru Elastic Wrap once again. Uh, and then finally, we've got the KGB Skeletal Stock, uh, which is a sprint to fire time and aim walking movement speed. Yes, you do have to rank the gun up to get it, but really, really worth it. I love, love this gun. So make sure to give it a go if you haven't. And then the five, uh, the perk variation is also pretty good, but you use the Iron Sight. You're going to have the, just, I use the base suppressor with this. I don't use the KGB Eliminator. This is kind of more my kind of stealthy assault rifle class. Uh, VDV reinforced once again, then just the base four grip, 40 round mag, and then that Gru Elastic Wrap. Still really solid gun. It's not as much of a laser. I don't think it'd be the one that I'd use in Warzone but a great, great build and jammer as well. As I said earlier, great for uh, smaller maps. But those are my 10 best class setups and loadouts to use in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I hope this helped you and give you an idea of what guns to rank up, especially as we got double XP this week. But yeah, let me know what you think and I will see you next time. Bye.